Hi and welcome to Real Reviews. My name is Martin Carr and today I'm going to be talking about The Morning Show Season 3 which is out on Apple TV Plus as we speak. Stars Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon and Billy Crudup. So let's get into it shall we? Right, so for fact fans, The Morning Show has been around since 2019. It originally starred Steve Carell alongside Jennifer Aniston playing Mitch Kessler um, in a show which essentially tackled the Me Too movement, which was very prevalent at that time, head on uh, in a quite, um, shall we say, quite an incisive storyline which tackled both sides of the, of the equation as well as... Um, addressing the idea of gender and identity and um, uh, workplace politics uh, within an American uh, within an American newsroom. Um, this is not a first. It, things like this have happened as well previously um, in the newsroom, which is an Aaron Sorkin um, creation, which starred Jeff Daniels. Um, you've also got Bombshell, uh, which um, dealt with the Roger Irons, Ames, Ames, um, uh, issue which was um, again that was to do I believe with um, with Fox uh, Fox News uh, and you also had the flip side of that and a thing called The Loudest Voice which starred Russell Crowe again that was an original series and that tackled the same thing uh, you've also got uh, TV shows or TV network based films one being the classic Network with Peter Finch, um, as well as a number of others. So in this particular case, what The Morning Show did, um, it did very well. Um, off the back of that, Steve Carell got a Golden Globe. The show in itself, or he got a Golden Globe nomination, I should say. Um, and on top of that, it, the show over the course of its history has also got, um, I think it's 11 Emmy nominations, one win for Billy Crudup playing Corey Ellison, as well as seven Golden Globe nominations as well. So um, the question is, going into season three, have they been, main, been able to maintain the quality um, which essentially has, has propelled this show forward into season three? Let's figure it out, shall we? Right, so just as uh, season one, the first first season tackled the idea of the Me Too movement and the season two then followed that on with the repercussions of what happened to Mitch Kessler, as well as tying it into, should we say, the, the idea of um, the, the stuff that was going on at the time with the Trump, Trump administration, um, as well as COVID. Uh, season three uh, kickstarts in a similar fashion. It takes on some really hard-hitting stuff. It touches on the abortion policy in the US, which was um, uh, quite prevalent at the time of COVID and uh, was quite the talking point. Um, you've, you've also got the idea that um, that news media as a whole is being superseded um, by the tech companies um, as people are able to absorb and, and ingest their news and their, their media um, very much on a minute by minute basis and, and it, it addresses and, and sort of explores the idea of, of how prevalent is the newsroom now in popular culture and um, you've also got the um the idea um, of um, the, you've still got the the repercussions which are coming through from the first season, um, where you obviously now no longer have Mitch Kessler on the scene, um, and you've also got various elements which are explored through the Reese Witherspoon character in terms of sexuality and identity, um, as well as corporate sort of mismanagement and and ultimately the the fragility of these characters as a whole. Um, which really brings, I think, season three together. Uh, and as much as it is a debate thing, as much as it is, it, is it does tackle these really hard hitting and, and prevalent topics, um, it really is still a very much a character driven drama. Uh, and I think it succeeds on that basis. Um, so I'm going to move on, move on to my rating. Next. So on the basis that uh, season three is ultimately a, a really good extension of, of the previous two seasons and it does drive the show forward um, and, and it does create character arcs uh, and does expand overall uh, on the premise of the show and, and really gives it some some meat, give it some backbone. I, I'm going to give this a four out of five on the uh, big old five scale. That's a four out of five on the big old five scale. Um, and, and I recommend... Um, anybody who hasn't seen The Morning Show to track it down because this really is a flagship series uh, and a real, a, a really great testament to the to the streaming platform 
as a whole. Um, so yeah, let's move on and do that trailer. Right, and so it is that we come to the end of the video review for The Morning Show Season 3, which is currently out on Apple TV Plus doing the rounds. If you've liked the video, then remember, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to drop a comment in the comment box below, then feel free, because I do interact. And failing, failing that, finally, if you'd like to subscribe, then every, every Tuesday and every Saturday when I drop another one of these bad boy videos, um, you can drop by and watch as much or as little as you wish, and, um, and then go about your day. So, uh, until then, take care and check out those other videos. Until then.